Be ready to be. Be ready to do. Be ready to be who you are. I'm going to say it like that for y'all. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Just Tie Ship with your host, Captain Naga. Today's episode bring you by this desert water like yes those two words are going together right now very beautiful plain so enjoy it as i am i just filmed a lot of nature scenes down there so let y'all know the nature just tie documentary is coming out this summertime taking my time with all of this putting in all the effort getting all the scenery all the birds all just whatever inspiration i see at that moment i'm capturing it on film in a way that i want it to appear on my documentary so enjoy enjoy today's episode though i just want y'all to be ready to do what you are be ready to do what you are you only can become use yourself that's the best thing take that back you can become anything because people can implant arrows of thought into your head and you can take their path but when you take your own path when you are ready to be to do who you are not be when you're ready to do who you are because most of us are ready to be who we are we're just not ready to do the work that consists with, that comes with that character that we really are. Ah. <laughs> just tie, just tie with me. This remarkable phrase, when it's put together like this, it brings out more effort in myself. When I say as though it feels like I'm ready to do who I am, it's like, all right, I can feel like whatever i can feel like i'm a king a god a mountain a tree that lovely airplane that i will capture for y'all on camera it's been a while since i captured a plane look at that all right swivel around now we back to biz now okay <laughs> but being being ready no ready to do who you are as i was saying it get, keeps me up it keeps me motivated because you can sit and think all you want i can sit and think all i want but what am i doing you can't say you the best basketball player in the world if you're not going out and exercising and throwing all those free throws practicing every day in the gym for any sport athletes know this you cannot be LeBron, LeBron cannot do that action, that LeBron action, if he didn't do LeBron stuff. Roll the beard out, play basketball, train all the time, talk in front of the cameras, be the spokesperson for this business and for this business. Most people don't want to be, do all of that other things. But LeBron knew that that's what that's who LeBron was, so that's what LeBron is doing. It's not what he's thinking, it's what he's doing. So therefore you say, hey, LeBron does this and he did that. So now we can kind of project to what he probably will do. Even though anything is possible, never limit yourself. But I diverge. Be ready to do who you are. Be ready to do who you are, my guys. When we keep thinking and feeling feeling is most important never lose your feeling but when you just thinking and cloud your head up with so much malarkey so much bullshit so much promises to yourself i owe you letters that you wrote to yourself when that's all you doing that's literally all you're doing nothing is going to manifest from that if through my experience Nothing has manifested through me just sitting there thinking about who I am. There are times that I'm constantly keeping myself in a form of meditation, but it has been times when I sat there, which is what we all must go through sometimes, and think about who we are and think about what we don't want to be, what we don't want to attach to ourselves. 
and we have to really work on and that's the next step once that meditation is there and you start thinking about things and things start appearing to your vision that you see that you have to work on you have to do the things that you see to change all the change all the work and you like that you and all the work that you see that you have to do hard or easy you have to do it or else you're still going to be who you are now and who is that person now a person molded and created by society since childbirth since you popped out of the womb you was crying saying i'm traumatized where am i who are you people Wah! Wah! ever since that moment you've been somebody else and what i've been working on is going and recharging my mind fighting making defenses fighting back all those arrows of thoughts and going back to my home world and bringing back me bringing back the naga bringing back the captain the captain of the ship is here and that's what I had to do. That's what I'm continuously doing. Because you can slip up. You can slip up. And then you'll find yourself like, whoa, I was on a high track. I thought I was this. I was doing good. But when you slip up, if you don't pick yourself back up, or if you didn't stay true to your friends and support them, then they, they can help you up too, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so be ready to do who you are be ready to do who you are just tires and when you don't be scared as well don't be scared to do it that's what that's tied on the last episode on worries that's where that worrying comes in thinking about the past and projecting it into the future worrying then focus on the moment that's right now Focus on who you are right now and read that four letter spell known as fair. It's just a four letter spell that we all have to rid ourselves of. Get rid of that fear, bring it back, bring out that beast, bring out that light being, all that is in you. Just let it be, let it do what it has to do. These, I see our bodies as just vehicles for so much that we can only ponder about or see with this third eye and we are just living in the plane to my mind just tying living in the plane of effects and it's another world that is the plane of causality and plane of causes where things happen and we're just the byproducts of what's going on so work on that mind and when you really align in yourself with your true purpose with what you were destined to be doing what you, your life or what you change your destiny to be in your life in this lifetime then you're going to be able to do what you want and it's, it's you're going to be so happy and so overjoyed every day you won't work wake up with no worries or complaints the only thing that will be on your mind is all right, I'm walking out this door. Something's going to happen to me. I'm prepared. I have all this stuff, but I'm no, I'm prepared for what's going to happen. And I know it's going to shape me and move me to another place. Life is full of surprises. Life is a box of chocolates. It's, it's so many different flavors of this one flavor of chocolate. But pick your own and enjoy it too. <laughs> all right, guys. Love yourself. Love, love, love yourself. And that's going to help a lot. That's going to help a lot. Because you're going to, when you see yourself moving, when the, when you see your spirit moving your body and God is changing things around, things is happening for your life to be set up certain ways, We that slip up I talked about a while ago can come from us not wanting to face certain facts and face certain scenarios and experiences that is coming our way so we retreat from it the going is going to get tough but under pressure diamonds are made if you don't have no pressure you ain't gonna handle diamonds you just gonna have a bunch of coal rocks whatever is underground there it's not gonna be no diamonds without pressure and when you put that diamond in the sun it's gonna shine forever 
It's even going to bring out his own light if you have the right eyes to see it. So, don't be scared of the future. Don't worry about the future. Be in soul into the moment. Be ready to do who you are so much that you just flowing. You just in the constant flow and you just always on the go. You never, and if you're sitting down, it's because you're exhausted. It's because you're exhausted. I try to not sit down unless I'm like, whew, I really need that. Now, whew, let me sit down, think of something to do. Because in that moment, me sitting down, probably blocking out all these other thoughts and all these other motions that I could have been actualizing. I have so, you have so much, I have so much potential. So much energy on a daily basis that it's unheard of, even to yourself. And the more you push yourself, the more you shock yourself. And then the more you believe in yourself and your confidence level will raise up. The fire in your belly and that solar plexus chakra will, will be on fire. Will be on fire. As long as you keep your heart and everything in line, it's not going, your ego won't get too big. And everything will stay in line. And it will all work out for the best. And you'll be one step closer. We'll all be one step closer to raising the level of consciousness of human beings on a regular. Then we all will be flowing. We'll all be lovely people. Still hate out there. But it'll be be a little different. A a little slightly different, hopefully. (laughs) It'll be ready to do who you are. It's... The main message as I keep repeating today. Just tie, combine your heart with your mind. That's what tie-in is for anybody just subscribing to the channel. It's when you combine your mind with your heart, not just thinking, not just feeling, but you just yin and yanging it out, just twirling it all together. So make sure that you stay twirling. Twirling it. <laughs> and you'll be laughing at the random things that pop up and what they will shape you to do for the future. The most freest people are the ones that have been through so much and put themselves through so much that they just know they can do it. Skateboarding, for example, jumping off skateboarding. I was jumping off steps. You start off on, I started off on like a curve, work your way up to two steps, then the four stairs, six, eight, 16, never went that far. But comfortable at the eight right now, cause I never really pushed myself that much farther. But once I do, hey, start adapting to your situations. And then soon you say, hey, I cannot just ollie jump off of this, but I now when I ollie jump, I can kick flip off of it. I can do a 3-6 tray flip off of that thing. I can do whatever it is. The same goes for biking and for running. The more you, longer you run, I know somebody that used to bike 22 miles. What? What? 22 miles? But it was so natural for her. Yeah, it's her. And she was just like, yeah, I just do it. But I can see how even when I was working with her, her level of energy was just always up there because she was keeping it up there. Like one day, you probably like, I'm gonna go two miles. Probably start off half a mile. Then you go five miles. Then you're like, man, this five miles seem like nothing. When I go home, I'm still not satisfied. I gotta put in an extra mile, and an extra mile, and an extra mile. And then soon, you running marathons. And then you looking back and you like, whoa, I used to just pass out as soon as I walked out the door. But now I can't even see my door. I'm so far in life. I'm so happy. And you just zoned out doing what you will, what you must. It's so exciting to embody that feeling that... And take it, tires. Take it for yourself. Because that is an energy that nobody can give to you. They can encourage it to you. They can talk to you about it they can show you what they did with their life but nothing really changes until you experiencing it for yourself and the only way is to not be scared and be ready to do who you are tires
Please do it. Do you. And do what you do. Do it clean. Do it dirty. Mix it up. That's who you are. (laughs) That's who we are. And I love that I'm just able to now just flowly talk. Just say whatever comes out. Just like flowly talk. I would never wrote down on paper flowly talk. But now I really like how that sounds. Flowly talk. So I'm going to use it more often. But if I was judging myself and not ready to be as awkward and weird as I know I am. Then those thoughts and voices and spontaneous stuff will never be able to pop out of me. So I just accept it. I just accept and love myself wholeheartedly. Loved my hair. Loved my eyes. Loved my eyebrows. Loved everything. Loved everything. Because I didn't used to. So I see the flip side. And I'm telling you, flip your side over. Flip the, flip your, flip everything over. Because it's for the better. It's for the better. And you'll, you'll, man, you already heard me say it too many times. You'll love yourself. You'll love life. And we'll raise the human level of consciousness up. Okay? That's all I got to say for today, tires. Thank you for tuning in. Be ready to be. Be ready to do. Be ready to be who you are. I'm going to say it like that for (laughs) y'all. But I'm going to end it with be ready to do who you are again. (laughs) If you like this phrase, please drop two thumbs up. Drop four thumbs up. Turn that into a thumb. Life is whatever you want to make it. All right? Please be sure to subscribe for more videos. They just coming at you. Funny. One, two, a day. It's all up to, I don't know, the man upstairs. (laughs) So, I have this question I'm going to leave you off with today. We all tie, but do we really tie? Sometimes I don't know, dude. Sometimes I don't know. Till next time, folks. Enjoy this desert plain scenery with water. Be ready to be, be ready to do, be ready to be who you are. I'm going to say it like that for y'all. <laughs>